guys, it's your boy from Sweden and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the most underrated skins in CS2. This includes skins from CSGO which I just think look better than what they're worth and of course skins that have been incredibly upgraded in CS2 but the price still hasn't really moved. But before that I'd like to thank today's sponsor which is Skins Monkey. They're one of the best and easy to use trading sites for CSGO and it's perfect for switching up your inventory to play with new skins, especially now for CS2. And by clicking the link in the description or using code ANOMALY, you get a deposit bonus of up to 35%, which is insane. And if you're making your first trade, you can also put code ANOMALY and you get up to $5 for free. Plus, they've got many nice extras like freebies for free skins and free balance and 24-7 support. So if you want to try them out, then please do so from the link in the description. And thank you once again, Skins Monkey, for sponsoring this video. Now, the first skin that I want to show you guys that I think is very underrated is the MAC-10 Pipe Down. This MAC-10 in Factory New is only 1.3 euro, and as you can see in-game, that 3D effect now really shows. Like, for 1 euro, this is definitely the best MAC-10 that you're going to be able to get, because it looks like it's see-through, and there's just these pipes throughout the MAC-10, which is really insane, actually. This is by far or I think my favorite MAC-10 skin now because of this effect. However, one MAC-10 that might come kind of close is the MAC-10 Silver. This one is much cheaper at just 0.2 euro, but it is also very, very clean. It doesn't have any insane effects or so, but it just looks very clean. You can see Silver, which is quite reflective and nice, and the Black, which makes it look very, very schlick in the game, which I like. Next skin is a normal it's the Subex Bite from the Anubis collection. It is pretty new, but it's still only 8 euro and look what they did to it in CS2. This is what it used to look like in CSGO where it was matte and not very cool. And here it is in game. You can see it is very, very metallic and shiny and really sticks out now in game. For 8 euro, this is definitely a very underrated Nova. Next up, we actually have a collection of four skins, which sounds kind of funny. We have the brass skins, starting with the PP Bison. As you can see, this has also gotten a very large update in CS2. This one is factory new and only costs 3.5 euro. And for 3.5 euro, there is not a lot of gold skins that you can get. The only gold skin that there is is like the MAC-10 gold brick and the AK Arabesque. This one, however, now in CS2, basically looks like it's made of gold. It doesn't look like brass anymore, which is why this one for 3 euro is definitely underrated. The same, of course, also goes for the Tech 9 brass, which now also looks golden. Same with the Glock 18 brass and the Scar 20 brass. But the Scar 20, because it's from the Norse collection, is very expensive. So this one isn't underrated. The other three are, but this one I just wanted to show you because it looks very cool in CS2. Another skin that's one of my personal favorites, which I think many of the people watching this video won't like is the Dual Beretta's Demolition. Because in CSGO these were really scratched, but in CS2 they are literally flawless. And as you can see in game they actually are still just as clean as when you're inspecting them. And I hope they stay this way and they're not changed back to being these scratchy pieces of shit, because that would be really sad. With a price for these ones in field tested, which is the best exterior, is only 8 euro. Next up also a pistol is the P250 Vino Primo field tester. This one legit only costs 2 euro but has this insane and unique purple color. Here it is in game as you can see they fit pretty well with any purple gloves. This is just insane for 2 euro. This is in my opinion the best and most underrated P250 that you can get. Another P250 which in my opinion is a little underrated is the steel disruption because now in CS2 they made it very shiny and you can see how it reflects the map. Very cool. Next we have another Tech 9. This is actually one of only two pink skins we have on today's list. This is the Tech 9 remote control from the Nuke collection. This isn't really a skin that got an upgrade with CS2. This is just a skin that I think is pretty low value compared to what you're getting. It's literally only 
only two euro, but you're getting a pink skin from a collection that has a very unique pattern to it and a lot of very nice colors. In my opinion, if the Tech 9 brass, which is almost 10 euro, is uh, too steep of a price point for you, then definitely get this one because this one is insane for two euro. Of course, we have to bust out the big guns, that being the M249 Nebula Crusader. In field tested, it actually only costs 0 0.99 euro. You can see how insanely shiny they've made it. It basically looks like it's made of glass and for less than a euro, this is probably the best M249 that you're gonna get. At least the one that stands out the most in game. Now for the CT side rifle, I chose the AUG Storm, which aside from all the TikTok funny <laughs> manipulating, it is actually in CS2 an insanely good looking skin. And for only 0 0.3 euro, I think this is one of the best budget AUGs that you can get. Insanely clean for only 30 cents. I actually chose another AUG as well. This one is quite a bit more expensive. The AUG Carved Jade Factory New. This one clocks in at 23 euro. It's literally like the Glock Gamma Doppler Emerald, but in the form of an AUG. And as you can see in game, it actually looks very, very, very clean. For 23 euro, I think this one is a must pick up. Now, a skin for a weapon, I guarantee you, most of you don't use. The R8 Phoenix Marker in Factory New is only 1.4 euro. It is from an Operation Collection, and it is this very nice, vibrant blue. It really sticks out for being just a light blue quality skin. Even though it's an R8, this is pretty nice. Now, for an op skin that's only 1.8 euro, the op Black Nile is actually that price and is very clean. It looks really, really nice. For 1.8 euro, you're getting this insane textured, like, uh, you, can, you can feel the height and the depth of the skin. Very underrated. Now, for a skin that I think a lot of you guys will disagree with me on is the Famas Spitfire. In CS2, they made it a lot cleaner and it has a very unique design, like an old, like, World War II airplane. For a minimal wear, it's around 40 euro, which is very expensive for a skin that looks like this. But in my opinion, you can't go wrong because it is very cool, unique design. And of course, it is a very old skin added in 2013. Now, for the T side auto sniper, I think actually that the very, very cheap 0 0.2 euro green apple is a very good choice, which in CS2 has actually got some new color. You can see this midsection used to not be green. And for only 0 0.2 euro, you can't really go wrong with a scratchless, nice, solid color auto sniper. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a complete list if I don't mention the M4 Basilisk, which has now gotten a quite uh, big facelift in CS2 with the big Basilisk now being 3D. It looks a lot better than in CSGO. And since you get the factory new version for just 3.8 euro, this is a really good choice for your M4. And now next up, we don't actually have a weapon skin, we have an agent skin. We have the Blueberries Buckshot Agent. That is because he is so insanely unique because he is full blue camo. No other agent has blue sleeves and no other agent has such a unique color as blue. Like there's no red agents or purple agents or pink agents. You know, they just don't come like that. But having a full body outfit in a colored camo like this, which is pretty vibrant, especially when you look at the sleeves of the agent, which you can easily fit with like amphibious gloves. And of course you can fit it with bright water skins for only five euro is really, really good in my opinion. And finally on the list, we actually have a set of five different skins and they are all from the Huntsman collection. It's not because these are the craziest looking skins or the best looking skins by any means. The reason I think these are so cool is because they are all discontinued from CS. These are all made by the same creator that made the M4 Howl. And as you know, the M4 Howl had DMCA copyright issues and was removed from the case. So were all of these five other skins. In my opinion, the USP Orion and the MAC-10 Curse are probably the least cool because you can still get them from trade-ups using purple or blue skins from the Huntsman collection. But something you cannot get
get anymore at all are the blues from the Huntsman case. All of these three old blues are discontinued and can never drop again, which means I think these are pretty cool. They're not the cheapest ones by any means. This one in Star Trek FN is 8 euro, this one is 4 euro, and this one is 12 euro, which is pretty expensive for the way they look. I think they're underrated just because they're completely discontinued and picking one up in Star Trek FN is always kind of cool because it's like a memory from the Huntsman case, which is very cool. Anyways, I would say those are my picks for the most underrated skins in CS2. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you think I, uh, I had a good list here of the underrated skins or if you have some nice skins in your sleeper build inventory loadout, then please let me know in the comments. Whoop!